In this video, we are going to learn the art of color grading in Luminar Neo. And we are going to be inspired by none other than the legendary photographer Ani Libovitz. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with Ani Libovitz, she's an absolute icon in the world of photography. Her stunning portraits have graced the covers of countless magazines, capturing the essence and personality of her subjects in a way that's both powerful and intimate. And you know what sets her work apart? It's not just the exceptional composition or incredible talent she possesses. It's also the way she manipulates colors to evoke emotions and tell the story through her images. And that's what we're going to dive into today. But don't worry if you are new to Luminar Neo or color grading. I'll guide you through every step of the way, showing you three color grading techniques and breaking down the process into easy to follow steps so you can achieve those stunning results. So grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable and let's embark on this exciting journey of learning how to color grade like Annie Libovitz using Luminar Neo. Okay, so we are in Luminar Neo, catalog module, and we are starting by looking at the sample files. As always, if you want to follow me along, there is nothing easier than jumping into description of this video, click on the link there and download the sample files so you can do the edit on your own computer. With today's sample files, you will get the three images we're going to be using. You will also get LUTs inspired by Annie Libovitz and they are yours. You can keep them and use them in the future on any projects you're going to be working on. And on the top of it, you will get an example of color grading layers, which we will be using later on in the tutorial. Now, coming back to the sample images, we have one row file, two TIFF files. It's actually the same thing. I just wanted to start with the first image from row file, but basically all I done to all three images is to apply very basic development. So we're going to start with the image with the lady with the black background. So let's just click on it, select it and quickly move it into presets module where we can just develop it very quickly with one of the presets here. Now for the initial and basic development, we can just use any of the portrait presets here in Luminar Neo. However, for us, we will use one of our essential portrait presets and they are here in the purchase section in the essential portrait collection. Once I open the preset collection, I can just hover over the presets and see what they do to our image. I know that for the dark background, the clarity and sharpness works very well, as well as the crisp contrast. Now, if you don't have these presets, what I will do, I will apply the preset to the image and then export it as a TIFF file and share it as a part of the sample files. So that way, if you don't have these presets, you can just upload the image from the sample files and continue from here. Now, once we have the preset selected, we can now go into edit module. So with this image, we're going to learn how to color grade using layers panel. But for this, we're going to need some color layers. So let's move into our layers panel and here click on the plus sign. After that, you should see button called load image or add image. So click on it and then navigate towards the location of your sample files. There you're going to see the folder called color grading layers. Open it and just select the first one and click on open. After that, repeat it two more times. So again, load image, second layer and open and again, and for the last time, gold and open. So now we have three layers here and what we can do, we can select the blue layer, click on it and add it to the image. It takes a second, it will appear on our image and here we can see our original layer and the new layer here. You can see that it's selected because it has the blue frame around it and it also has a blue frame around on the image itself. Now we need to turn our attention towards our layer properties. It will be on the top of our main toolbar where we need to do two 
things. First, go at the bottom of the tool into the image mapping and click on fill. So that way you will fill the whole image. After that, go into the opacity and increase it to 100%. And after this, what we need to do is to change the blend mode from normal into overlay, soft light or hard light. Now the hard light can be a little bit harsh. The overlay sometimes affects the skin tones. So I prefer to use the soft light. However, I'd like you to have the choice. So let's go for the soft light. So we click on that and now it's apply. So this is the very basic way of how to color grade the image using the layers. We had a blue layer that we have positioned on a top of the image and then we have adjusted the blend mode from normal into soft light. Of course, that you will choose the color based on the layer you're using. Now to push this technique even further, we can now use it in a combination with masking. So let's go back to our layer properties, still making sure that our blue layer is selected. So here in the layer properties, click on masking and click on brush. Here in a brush, we're going to be removing part of the overlay or part of the color grading layer. So let's click on erase and let's adjust the brush. Now looking at it, we can make it a little bit bigger. With the softness, let's stick to 100. And with the strength, let's just go to somewhere around 30. We want to be removing only a little bit at the time. After this, we can come back to our picture and I will not make a great selection, but it will give you an idea. So now I will brush over the face. And as I'm going to start to do that, you will see how I'm removing the blue from her face. So something like this. It's a little bit better. We can brush a little bit more on the top. And as you can see, by doing that, I'm bringing some of the natural colors back, removing the blue from her face. Of course, that you can continue. You can maybe brush over these highlights here, again, removing some of the blue away. You can, of course, brush over some of the other parts of the image. However, I think this proves the point of how you can use the masking to only color grade a specific part of the image. Now to push it even further, we can use a multiple layers on the top of our image to color grade it. Let me show you how to do this. Let's go back to our layers and here click on the plus sign. In our Mine Images section, click on the golden layer and apply it to the image. Once it's there, very quickly jump into the layer properties, increase the opacity to 100, click on a fill in image mapping, and after that, adjust the blend mode from normal into soft light. Now it's way too strong, so to adjust this, we're gonna go back to the opacity and bring it down. I usually like to bring it quite low and then just go up until I like the result. So somewhere around here. Now, of course, that the layer now takes off all the blue we have applied earlier. So what we want to do, we just want to apply the golden layer to the skin. So to do this, again, we're gonna use masking. So while we have our new layer selected, go into the masking, use the brush, and here make sure that you are on paint and that your strength is on 30. With the size, this is probably big enough. So when you click once, the layer will disappear from the entire image. And now you can paint only over the areas where you want to color grade it with your new gold layer. So for example, over the face and maybe over the highlight here. And if you want, even over the area here at the bottom. So by doing that, you're now using two layers, the blue one to color grade her clothes and the background, and also a little bit of the hair, and the golden one to color grade her skin and some of the highlights. So this is the first technique of color grading here in Luminar Neo with the use of layers panel. Now moving on to the second sample file and the second color grading technique. For this, we're going to go into our main toolbar and scroll all the way down to the professional section. Here, open the color harmony tool. 
and after that open the color balance section. Here you're going to see a three sliders and also gray drop down box. Start by clicking on it and select shadow. By doing that, we will now only adjust the colors in the shadows. Now this tool is very similar to curves in a develop tool. However, it's a little bit easier and faster. So the idea here for this image for me is to make a little bit of blue cyan background and shadows and make nice warm skin tones. So to start, we're gonna go into our shadows. So again, we have selected shadows and we're gonna start by taking the cyan red slider. And as we want our color of the background and shadows to be cyan blue, we're gonna take the slider and push it towards the cyan. So let's push it. Usually I like to overdo it a little bit and then bring it back. Once we do that, we can now go into the yellow blue. So I say we're gonna be creating cyan blue background. So for this, now with our yellow blue slider, we're gonna take the slider and push it towards the blue. So again, we push it until we like the result. Now we can always check the before and after, and you can already see what we done. We have really changed the overall feel of the image. But for now, this is just for shadows. So we need to change the shadows into the midtones and continue with the same idea. We're gonna take our cyan red slider and bring it down. And let's see, maybe just somewhere around minus 20. And similarly, we're gonna go into the yellow blue and take the slider and bring it up. Again, as always, double check the before and after. And I really like where we're going with this. Finally, we're gonna go from midtones into highlights. And with the highlights, I don't wanna change too much. And the reason is that often the highlights includes the skin. So if I take the cyan red slider and start to push it down, you will see that I apply the cyan even to her skin tones. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep it natural. But if you like it that way, then go ahead. So we're gonna keep it that way. And what we can do, we can actually go into the yellow blue slider and bring the slider down a little bit to bring back or add a little bit of warmth into the skin. As always, we can check the before and after, and I quite like it. Now, don't forget that just like with the first technique, you can also use masking here. So for example, we could click on masking, click on brush, again, use the erase, bring the strength down to, let's say 25, and now just brush over her skin and remove a little bit of the blue cyan color from her skin. So again, with the help of brush, you can color grade a specific parts of the image. And finally, the image and technique number three, where we're gonna be using the power of LUT to color grade our image. To do this, we have the third sample file in front of us. Again, we are in the edit module and we're gonna go into our main toolbar, creative section at the home of LUTs, the mood tool. Click on it to open it and start by clicking on a choose LUT gray dropdown box. Inside, click on add custom LUT file and then navigate towards the location of your sample files where you should see folder called LUTs open it and select all the four LUTs that come with this class. After that, click on add and it only takes a second and they get imported into the application. To access them, again, click on the choose LUT dropdown box, go into the custom LUT and now by hovering over the overlays, you will see what effect it does. So fine art is kind of brown, cool, really nice blue color, Silver is really nice as well and light blue, which in this case, because of the light actually gives us a little bit of green. So we haven't tried green before, so let's select it. And after that, we can play around with the amount. So if we think that this color grading is a little bit too strong, we can adjust it, bring it down or up, whatever you like. I think for me around 90 is good. After that, we can move to the contrast slider and play around with that. We can bring it down to make it more flat or we can really push it and make it more contrasty. 
And finally, the saturation slider help us to bring and recover some of the skin tones by bringing it up. Something around 35 works for this image. And once we have it set, we can now check the before and after. So with the use of LUT here in the mood tool, you can really easily color grade your image and then fine tune it with the amount, contrast and saturation sliders. Just like with the other techniques, you could now use the masking to apply this color grading only to the specific part of the image. If you would want to apply multiple LUTs, all you would need to do is to close the mood tool, open it again, choose different LUT and apply it to the different part of the image or on the top of the original LUT. Now, before we going to finish, I want to quickly mention that this tutorial was powered by our Luminar Neo Essential Preset Bundle. This bundle includes over 38 preset collections and one of them is called Anis Vision. So if you want to skip the hard work and get the initial look, you can use this collection to very quickly color grade your image with a similar look like Annie Leibovitz. All you need to do is to hover over the preset. Once you like the look, you simply click on it and then you can adjust it in the edit module to exactly what you want. If you are interested in this collection and the overall bundle, you can find more about it at cleverphotographer.com. And to get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminargift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.